In this episode of 5 to 9 Podcast, we chat to James Tran, who is a photographer and motion artist based in Sydney, Australia. You can find his work at Jam Tuna on Instagram. James has set himself apart by animating his beautiful portraiture to create unique cinemagraphs. In this episode, we talk about how he set himself a goal to dedicate a full year into chasing the 5 to 9 life and grow an audience and a career on Instagram. He gives us some insight into the process of creating his intricate cinemagraphs too. Make sure you check out his stuff on Instagram and hope you enjoy the episode. Alright. Hi everyone, welcome to the 5 to 9 podcast. A podcast about creators for creators living the 5 to 9 life. Today we've got a good friend, James Tran. Hi. Uh, Tuna. that's all I know. Instagram is Jam Tuna. <laughs> At Jam Tuna. Yeah, um, so I guess first off we can just start by telling who you are and what you do. Yeah, I'm James, better known as Jam Tuna on Instagram. Yep. I'm a motion designer in Sydney. Okay, motion designer. Yeah, that's yeah, what you yeah. call yourself. Yeah, yeah. Because we were trying to figure out like, what do we call you? Do we call you photographer, motion designer, digital artist? Like, what do we, what are the things, you know? Like? Content creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll just say I'm a digital creative. Digital maybe. creative, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, it's kind of sucks that we have to say content creator. It sounds so, like, cold and kind of harsh, but... Mm. It, yeah? Yeah, it does, that's what I do. rather call yourself an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> the, the new term's KOL. Or like, KOL. That's, that's, that's the Asian term. Do you know yeah, what KOL? Yeah. We, we, like, we spoke about this in the lanes episode. Yeah, so instead of using influencer, the Asians usually say KOL, which means key opinion leader. leader. Yeah. Okay. KOL. Oh. Yeah. It's like more cryptic, which yeah. is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, you, you're a freelancer, but at the same time, you work somewhere at, like, at the moment? So yes. what, how does that, how, where do you work and how does so that work? So I sort of do like three to six months contracts with mm-hmm. a company called Beyond. Yep. And they're like a TV production company. Right. I specialize in like scientific documentaries. Nice. Right. Shows of a scientific spin. Yep. Yeah. And so yep. you do that every day, full time, right now? I uh, just recently finished a TV show. I don't know if you saw me. I saw you the trailer. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was the trailer about? I can't describe it for like people who haven't. So it was for a Facebook watch show called Curse of Akakor and it's basically like a bunch of scientists trying to find the lost cities of gold in the Amazon rainforest. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah. Okay. What did you, you, what was your role in that? So I was mainly, like I did all the graphics, I was mainly like the motion designer. So Mm -hmm. anything that's not footage would be what I did. So all the text that comes up and all the graphics that comes up. Right, okay. Are you in a team or are you by yourself or? I am by myself for this. Oh wow! Show. Yeah, yeah. Wow. For other shows, I was in the team. Yeah. Okay. They trust you to just like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good, man. We we should describe James' work. So, for anyone who's listening who doesn't uh, know James' work, he's a uh, you... really like subtle cinemagraph. So well, sometimes not that subtle, but like a lot of it's subtle. I see like yeah. your BTS stuff because you share a lot of BTS kind of, I guess speed edits almost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like time lapses of uh, his computer screen of how he does it, and like there's little details where like. On Instagram, no one would notice. There's like yeah. a reflection of like the flicker in someone's eye, or like yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes into really, yeah. really good the ball. Detail. We can we share like a whole bunch of yeah, stuff yeah, we'll share some. Yeah. But it's like the ball and then the fishbowl one. With mm. the, oh yeah, with the planet. Yeah, but the stuff's going around the fishbowl and stuff yeah, too. Yeah, the fishbowl moving. Yeah, yeah. What's a subtle? <coughs> and what's a not subtle cinema? Well, the ones where like <laughs> some ones where like the flower just slightly moving and like you, it, the girl just blinks. Like that's a very subtle one because mm. you don't mm. realize they're gonna blink. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I think those ones are quite powerful, but at the same time, your other non-so subtle way, like big movements, are also powerful too. So yeah, yeah. they're all good in my opinion, and I think I like subtle, but yeah, yeah, Instagram sometimes they have no focus or attention, and so yeah. I just like mm-hmm. scroll through. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, how did you get into all this? Like, how did you get into motion design, and did you go to uni for it? Did you like? Were you always interested when you were in high school or growing yeah, up? No, like, so I did a title design class in uni. Right. And like I got like HD for it, and the teacher saw like potential in me, and right. it's kind of mentored me throughout my last year, where I focused more on animation and motion design, and I sort of just went motion design from there. What uh, uni did you go to? UNSW. And what was the what was the course? So the course was called digital media back then. So it was okay, just like a general media. course okay. where right. you tried a bit of everything. Right. Yeah, yeah. My sister did media and communications at UNSW. I think oh, it's, I think su- it's different. It kind of yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. That's like that's what I was trying to get into. Media and communication. Didn't get in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. But um, yeah. Did you you had a mentorship? Like, how did how was that relationship? Because I rarely like showed up to uni, and mm-hmm. I didn't really have that. 
But I feel like that'd be pretty powerful if you could connect with the the tutor with or whatever. The tutor. And lecturer, yeah. yeah you yeah. have the same like taste and vibe. Yeah, it was really good because having a mentor there, like, there's sort of you have to, you don't want to disappoint your mentor, so you want to push yourself and do better work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And sort of improve your skills on the way. Right. And so, were, were they any good or the mentor? Yeah, like their own work because. Like for art and stuff, I always want to see what their work is like, and mm. if they're shit, like I don't want to learn from her. Basically, yeah, I think she was, her work was amazing. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think you you definitely get more inspired by people who do good work. Yeah, and and people you look up to, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. So after uni, did you go into like freelancing straight away, or did you work in like a, a place somewhere straight away, or what? what so happened I did uni? a bit of full time in advertising, like an agency. Okay, and I just. Did that for like a year. Right. Were you doing motion design there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was right. Okay. And turning and, and working as well. Right. Okay. And after that, I was at Channel 9 for a year and a bit. Right. Nice. Yeah. What did you, what they make you do over there? So it's broadcast design. So it's, it's the news. So anything that's not, again, footage, it's going to be motion designers. Who like lower it. thirds of like lower the names. Thirds. And uh, lots of, bunch of maps. And it's all live and stuff. So you got to do it quick. Is that what's happening? Or? No, we get... It's all on the day, so we get uh, sort of stories that come in and we work quickly to make the graphics. They're templates, right. mostly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We work right. with templates. What sort of maps? Like, like there's weather stuff? Yeah, <laughs> there is weather stuff, but there's also, there's always like car crashes and oh, people robbing banks right. and have to show where they are in Sydney. Here, right. There, Wait, make fire. it sound like there's so <laughs> many <laughs> bank robberies every day or something. I don't watch the news now. <laughs> I can't I remember know. the last bank robbery. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently yeah, it happens yeah. often. Okay. Right, so then after Channel 9, you started doing freelance work and stuff? Yeah, I did travel, so I did a oh, you tra- oh, yeah, you did you travel. Did. Right. Name all the countries you've been to, because like, I see you post all these kind of old photos, and you, it seems like you're traveling heaps. Cause like, yeah, yeah. Where, where have you been? I don't know if I can name them all, but it's not, it's not as many as, uh, as I'd well, like to Well, if you can't name them all, yeah. then like, yeah. it's a lot. <laughs> well, what were your like, standout places, I guess? Like, what were you? I liked um, so. Bolivia and Myanmar at the time. Oh yeah. wow! I felt like traveling a new, different country yes. because Myanmar just recently opened the borders uh, to like tourism. Yeah. Right. So, so nothing there was facilitated for tourism, and sort of that one last feeling of Pretty exploring raw. like yeah. a new. Yeah, yeah. What background yeah, yeah. are you Vietnamese? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. And then, so after Bolivia and Myanmar, like so, I started in Asia and then I ran around. You ran around. <laughs> no, we, we went around counterclockwise. <laughs> right. And avoided the middle, so I didn't hit Africa. Right. Yeah. So Europe, you go to Europe as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, you travel a lot, like for a whole year. I think you definitely travel more places than I have, I think. Like, I've only oh. been to like Asia and like US and the standard kind of countries. Yeah. But yeah. So one year, you, you travel for one whole year? Yeah. yeah. By yourself? Uh, yeah, originally by myself, but then like you meet a lot of people on the way and just travel together. Yeah. Did you do like tours or did you just like plan everything yourself? Yeah, everything myself. That's cool. Yeah. That's really that's cool. A, that's a big <coughs> undertaking. Yeah. I think not many people get that chance to kind of travel and... Yeah, it was something I wanted to do because I knew I was young and yeah, yeah. and I know this is like the only opportunity I'll get it, so right. I just went. Before like your kind of career takes off and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you land on your travels? <laughs> I'm kind of curious, like... Yeah. Nothing like amazing, nothing like... Did you find yourself? Mind-blowing. Did you find yourself? Did you like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that, was the, that was the goal of yeah. the journey, but it's just like... Did you realise like what you your path was in life or like what you needed to do next or something, like nothing like that or like... Tell me some epiphanies. <laughs> yeah, what did you... What did you you know, yeah, mind blowing thing. Try happen. and take care of your body a lot more because your body is so important yeah, yeah. when traveling because you do get sick a lot what you eat. Yeah. Because you want to try everything, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you get food poisoning in the way? Surely. A lot. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Yeah. Is, is that like on your trip? Did you Is that where you came up with the name Jam Tuna? Yeah. How yeah. did you come up with Jam Tuna? It took a year for you to find your name. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever had a sandwich with like jam and tuna? No, like, you told me this. Is, it's <laughs> a white combination. It's, it's like the saltiness of the tuna and the sweetness of the jam. They just complement each other. Really? It's so good. Okay. And if you chuck that bad boy in a sandwich press, oh, it's just like a badass. No, no, that's not it. I'm, I got it like in high uh, school. I don't believe oh, you. Shit. I believe you. You told me like at the symposium that like, do you actually, <laughs> do you actually you. eat it or not? Like, Have you ever yeah. eaten one? No. Okay. What? Oh, yeah, no, no. you lied to me, man. Because I thought like it was an actual so kind of weird jam tuna. Jam is coming from James, and tuna is coming from Tran. Tran yeah. But oh, then, like, you liar. Why, <laughs> why did you pick Cheater. jam and, and tuna for J and T? Someone gave me the name, and I just it was my favorite one. I stuck with because I guess like I always talk about food. I'm yeah, yeah. like a subtle foodie, and right. the, I thought it was pretty okay suitable. Yeah. Okay. And so, you, how long have you had your Instagram account? 
Ooh, I'm not too sure, but I was active in 2018, but I might have had it for like a few That's, years before. Yeah, so oh, you started you, to become active in 2018, yeah, but yeah. before then you, you had an account, but you weren't too no. active on it. Were you right. taking photos and stuff on your trip? You, you were, right? I did, but I never posted anything up. That's right. good. Now you got just, like, ne- just never, like social media never appealed to me. But photography was the like thing. you, you, you were into photography. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, on your trip. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. good. At least you had photos, right? Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It doesn't suddenly happen like after trip. Oh, I like photography, and then like well, you, you kind of missed out, but you did take what, some photos. What right? changed? What changed from like not appealing to you? And you had a lot of opportunities to travel and take a lot of photos, and then something happened obviously and you're yeah like, what made you want to yeah. post on social media like when you when i was working on channel 9 they always had news about like influencers traveling and i've always yeah. wanted to just like see what that lifestyle is see if i can make it so in 2018 my goal was to see if i can do it like you i didn't to, know what it you involved. wanted to be a travel blogger <laughs> uh, yeah i wanted to be able to travel around the world for free right had no idea what's involved yeah. and i just like went straight in you basically just learned everything basic bitch james <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're gonna stand on like an infinity pool <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah. Okay, and then so what inspired you? So that inspired you to make an account, and and after your trip, what made you start wanting to post on on social media? Yeah, like I'm saying, like just trying to get to that point where I can travel with yeah, my yeah, social yeah. media. But then it took you a year, as in like you uh, went to Channel Nine, you did a full year of traveling. Mm. You didn't post on your travels. No, it's only when you got back when you, you yeah, started yeah, yeah. to post this stuff. So you're like, okay, I just got all this content. Might as well just post it somewhere. Is yeah, that what yeah. you're thinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So now that you're kind of here, right? Like. It's not what it seems, right? Like traveling and like, yeah, really. Not at all, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you were saying to me in the past, like past conversations we've had, how like you made a conscious decision in 2018 to like push your account and see how far you can go with it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did you like, why, did, like obviously now we know why, but like what steps did you take to, to push that account and how did you? Because yeah. like for the audience, I think there's a lot of aspiring people who want to take the same path. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And I, there's heaps of ways to get there, but like we're interested to hear your way because yeah, it's it's a cra- it's been like a crazy path. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I was always analyzing just to see how other people did it. So yeah. initially, I started with like trying to keep the feed consistent. So yeah. I went through different color palettes. Yeah, that that was pretty that was pretty slow. And still. there were just photos at the beginning. Yeah, or yeah were you yeah. doing videos too at yeah, the beginning? Yeah. Then I YouTube like, why isn't this working? <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you get what, what is wrong? And, with and me? somehow I was landed on like Gary V sort of stuff, and uh, he had like yeah. a dollar eighty sort of strategy. Sort of, uh, yeah. I don't even know this. What's the so give your strategy? two cents to like ninety accounts every day, and sort of it's just like engaging Spend time with other accounts, with outreach, and yeah. actually engaging with people and building community. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was still also slow. It didn't really really work very well. Right. It slowly gets you momentum because like if you. If you reach out to enough people and then that will slowly kind of get you attention mm-hmm. and it'll give you a little bit of momentum yeah. into putting your good work out there. I think Maybe also the... reaching out in a genuine way, like we've said this a couple of times, like yeah. you don't want to go like, check out my work, check out my work. You don't want to like blast people. Yeah, yeah. You'd rather just like say hello or like comment and then like suddenly get in there, right? Like mm-hmm. just like somehow your work gets featured here and then some people say, oh, it's like, oh, Jam Tune has actually commented on my work before yeah. and he's gotten featured on this page. Like then mm-hmm. you, people start to check out your work. Like, it you engage enough to the point that the, your work's quality right and like yeah. i think that's it got you on the radar at least for me i found your work mm. and then that you slowly kind of branch out from there yeah like, then you started yeah. getting a lot of features after i kind of oh it was pretty it still was pretty slow At so the, the, the first growth spurt i had was like through a free, free forward competition yep what did um, you do it was for an art of visuals one yep so I that I was the first time I made a scenograph because I really, really wanted to win. And I, and I knew, yeah, we'll, we'll put it we'll put it I knew like all the big guys followed out, out of visuals. Yes. So what, what's the, what, what was the piece? What'd you do? I can't remember. Um, so, so, pull it up, but. Yeah. so they had a thing with Pendleton. They had like a competition with Pendleton and it was just like a girl wearing the rugs. Okay. Yeah. On, like, but Pendleton is a rug brand. Pendleton is a woolen wool brand. Wool brand, okay. It's the adventure. Oh, yeah. Adventure, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So it was like okay, okay. editing an adventure pic. Yeah. And it was mainly photos, so I added a bit of motion. Right. That sort of... What did you do with the motion? So the one that won, I just animated the fire. It was like really, really simple and basic. Right. Yeah, no worries. I don't have to do that. But, but I did three of them. <laughs> so that was a waterfall. I also... So made. that was the most basic one that won. So out of the three you did, the most <coughs> basic one won the one, won the competition. Um, no, I'd say it's the most complicated oh, one. Oh, okay. But, yeah. but for so what I basic. do these days, for oh. what I do these days, it's pretty basic stuff. Back then, uh, right, yeah, yeah, gotcha, yeah, yeah. gotcha. Okay. And that got me from like oh, 500 to like 3,000 or something. Yeah. And that was the sort of the momentum. Shift. Right. So, I think like we're getting features, right? People, hub owners don't look at hashtags anymore. Mm. I think they, fo- they just feature the people they follow. Mm. And so 
if yep. you get featured on other visuals and then all the other hub followers follow you that's how to get your work featured quite yeah. often yeah I think Generally, at one so, yeah. at one point like I think I saw your work on other visuals and then you started getting lots of features in other places as well like right after that I think yeah yeah and then your account grew right so how long did it take you you said it at the beginning it didn't kind of gain traction but how long did it take so, you so like January to April there was like I went from like 200 to 700 I was I was okay with that and then yeah. From like April, that's when I won the competition. Yep. It just started going up faster. So April 2018. So it's only been like a year and a bit mm. till now. Yeah, and yeah. you've grown all the way to 34, 35. Who's yeah. counting? Uh, <laughs> Who's counting? I, mean, but, yeah. right. I think it's like you're, you came in at a time where video was starting to kind of get pushed forward mm. and like not mm. many people were doing it. Yeah, and yeah. even now, like I think what you're doing, not many people know yeah. how to do it. So Yeah, and the video he does, you do is like... <laughs> quite different to the video everyone else does right yeah, yeah, which is yeah. cool so i guess uh, like setting yourself like that point of difference is important yeah. for you trying to find that niche yeah, yeah 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 and how did you land on that like obviously you had this video motion background so how what did you like realize like i should just start posting more of this more yeah like, just start uh, winning the other visuals ones. Yeah, i that knew one. that that was a thing that was to me was a sign that where i gotta do more cinematographs because not right. many people do it and if people do it it's, it's not done well mm. dude it's, it's like photograph photograph yeah, yeah. yeah. It's right. like, oh, not shout out to photograph <laughs> <laughs> they suck <laughs> yeah. right okay okay but i entered a photograph in the other visuals <laughs> right yeah. yeah right okay like everyone kind of does it and they some people do it okay well, yeah. ah, but like it's it gotta is what keep it, is. it subtle yeah so when so all your motion stuff that's all done in After Effects is that what you use? Yeah, yeah. How did you learn that and how did you, I guess obviously you use it every day mm. so you, you get good at it. Yeah. But yeah. like, what made you like you know I don't know I, I don't really use After Effects so I don't really know the program. It's very confusing well. for me too. So yeah. After Effects was, was like a central tool for any motion designer. Yeah. But if I was to describe to photographers, think of it like Photoshop yeah, for yeah, video. sort of video. Yeah. yeah. Right. If you know Photoshop, you know how to compose on Photoshop. It's it's the same thing. With I, I, I know how to compose on Photoshop, but I can't do it. On it's just that and like keyframing, essentially. Right. Yeah. Okay. But how do you get like things to animate and like do you model things? Do you mo model no, things? No, I go stock sites and get oh, models. Yeah. Right. So you don't use like. Maya or Rhino or, or those modeling software, 3ds Max or something. You don't use any of that. And Cinema 4D. Oh, Cinema so 4D. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It is a 3D program. Yeah. yeah. So you use Cinema and then you bring it into After Effects mm. sometimes. Yeah, yeah, all the time. All the time. All the time. Okay. And then you like post on Instagram and 48 hours later, it's like people have forgotten about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You you need to find a space. I think something more permanent for like your work. I think the half life on Instagram is quite short. Mm. Especially for like, if you're putting that many hours into a piece, mm. yeah, you yeah. want to live a bit longer. So I wanted to know, right? Like, do you have any plans of like putting, doing something bigger in scope and kind of like any projects that are like longer term and going to be on other platforms, I guess? I don't have any plans right now, but I feel like if I do get to a point where people just want to see my body will work, yeah. it is there and I can just put it on a website or, yeah, yeah. or like right now I'm trying to work with AI and sort of somehow to make it yeah yeah oh, nice. so i want like a printout of what i have and then they put their phone over it yeah it's sort of you can see it animated uh, on the phone and that's what i'm sort of working on sounds like a headache but right it sounds now. cool right yeah, so yeah. an exhibition so then they would have a like, yeah, gallery space and oh, if wow. you want to see it move it's slow so that's what you're working on right now a, a gallery sort of showing and space. well right now i'm just working with ai and just trying to make face oh, okay, okay. that is okay okay that's the goal yeah like right. all the all the phone companies are building ar stuff into their phones mm. and i think adobe is pushing ar as well Yep. Like yeah, with yeah, Estella, yeah. shout out Estella. She's that's VR. VR. No, that's she's that, she's AR. AR so, and VR. So, Project Arrow. Uh, Project. Okay, yeah, AR too. Yeah. Is it both? Yeah, it's both. So she wears the goggles and she like paints Draws, in, yeah. in like the real space. Oh, sort that's of. VR. That's yeah. VR, bro. A oh, oh, AR is when you you point a phone. It, it, the it's VR the that thing. she creates is, can be yeah. that can be. So she's shown painting, in AR too, and yes. then like people can hold iPad and look at yes, what she does. Mm. Yes, yes, that's AR. Yeah, so but VR yeah. is when you paint in space. Well, I like they do it for the Samsung, mm. and you can paint on people's faces. Yeah, that's what Sean's been doing. Yeah, yeah. It's called the AR Doodle. And yeah. apparently, they're meant to put like laser, like laser things in the iPhones. Uh, so it should be more widespread if it picks up. Yeah, I think it's gonna pick up. Yeah, that's why. That's why I'm spending time a, trying to make face filters on Instagram. <laughs> face filters. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. How do you submit it? Because I noticed any like when you do a face filter. You click the top left, there's like yeah. whoever You created. have to be following them first. So Martina uh, makes face filters. 
And okay. so you have to be following them first, and then when you when you try to look for it, you click her name or something. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. when I click through, usually like at the start anyway, I don't know if it's like this now, but like the count would be massive because mm. like everyone uses like that, you know. Yeah. Basic. Yeah. Right. It's a good way to grow. Are you <laughs> planning to post any of your like portfolio on YouTube or any other like Vimeo? How would your How would yeah. your work work on YouTube? Let's say, I'd like to send something longer from you. It, like it'll be bigger. like an education tutorial sort of if you piece. were to make it so just like talking to a mic or like text on the screen or something like that yeah 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 right would you are you planning to do that or are you not thinking yeah, I don't about have any plans about but I'd have thought about it, right. it is, I think it will something longer for would will, yeah. want to see it right do you guys yeah, would want to see so. it to yeah, yeah. I definitely want to learn After Effects for sure it's like at Max there's a there's a session called after Effects for for Beginners? filmmakers, oh, for filmmakers Who's running so, it, so I can do After Effects for photographers, sort of. Sort yeah, of. right. That's okay. interesting. I think yeah. no one's kind of thought about. It. Even they haven't thought of that. Like, yeah, because traditionally photography is photography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's blurring. I think the lines. <laughs> I mean, what you do sometimes is literally just take a still and then you animate that still, right? Like mm. you don't need any video. You don't need any like. Yeah. That's really cool because it's really hard to do. And I yeah, think like a lot watching, of people want to learn. Watching your stuff. That's how. I, I kind of got the idea of turning the, you know, my station cinema, yeah, of like with turning the, the light off. Yeah, but that's just photos and like, yeah, and blending and stuff. Brightness, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy. This guy's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there for like hours and hours and trying to figure it out. It took me ages, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It does take a while to learn. I do like really guerrilla style stuff where it's like, just dodgy things, like just trying to like put images on top and like sometimes I do frame by frame to just like. Oh, it's, it's not dodgy it's not it's not sometimes dodgy, yeah. it's dodgy like my phone cinemagraph where mm. like cars go through the phone yeah I do frame by, I cut the cars out frame by frame but I think After Effects can do it automatically right mm. you just keyframe it like if you, it's... you can keyframe it but like you keyframe it once and it should be able to track but if it's a, it's a moving car it's pretty quick and it's changing perspective uh, so okay but okay if maybe I'm doing the right thing yeah, yeah, yeah I think you're doing the right thing yeah, if yeah. the motion's linear right you yeah. just you can keyframe one to the next and you don't have to do the, the middle stuff yeah but if the car's going like that then like yeah you have to kind of because i do it frame by frame but i do it in photoshop too i don't do it in, in after effects <laughs> yeah okay. i just do like lots of frames in photoshop yeah yeah that'll be slower yeah so that's i think that's something i need to learn after effects so talking about your work right you do a lot of cinema graphs and stuff and you could i guess you could do anything with cinema graphs, but you've kind of focused on portraits yeah 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 did you always have a love for portrait photography and like it's pretty awesome how you can kind of mix the two mm, that's really cool um i think yeah portraits tell a better story yep. it adds more emotion and much more relatable for the audience mm -hmm. rather than just a landscape because i was never interested in just shooting a landscape you're right. gonna be hanging with us and you're gonna do kind of be, <laughs> well, you're take yeah, that's also, also i'm like i'm not even keen on the food hey, you can, can go I, anywhere you want just nah, come, can you come make a, take me to food places can you make a cinemagraph with me in it yeah, why not? <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. I just want to be. Crazy. I just want to be on a on the jam tuna feed, you know. Yeah, but. so like I think portrait photography is already hard enough as a genre to do good mm. at. Mm. Like, how did you getting yeah. the pose right, getting all the light right, and then you add all this other stuff on top? It's how did you learn all this portrait photography stuff? Like on the go, obviously, but like uh, through experience. And how did you meet all these models and friends? Is are they yeah. friends or what, what's happening? So I've I've practiced portrait photography a lot. There needs to be. I used to shoot cosplay, like oh, at the conventions and stuff, and, that's right. where, and, and they're like really open to like creative ideas. Yes, and that's how I got into. That's why they're there. Like, portrait, yeah. yeah. Uh, did you go to cos? Did you dress up too? <laughs> uh, no, only photos. once, maybe. Bullshit. Send me the photos. <laughs> what did you dress up as? I was I was no face. So. Oh no face. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So no one can see me from um, Spirit Away. <laughs> how could oh, you not okay, know? Yeah, 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 oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I learned it in uh, Japanese in high school. Like, this guy doesn't know any anime. So. Bro, yeah. I know all the Ghibli ones. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. So you used to go to all the cosplay conventions and shoot, like, work or just for fun? Just like, for fun. Just, just for shoot practice. the people for fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you would just walk up to randoms and go, "Can I take photos of you?" Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, why they're there. I tried to be creative about it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Do you have? Do you ever post any of that stuff on your Instagram? No. No. <laughs> it's so bad. But you can animate them. That'd be really like cool. Like if you right? animated it, it might be okay. But no. But but these are old photos. So yeah. this is me just practicing trying to get my portraits right. Right. Like, okay. Yeah. That's a good way to practice, I guess. Like, yeah. Okay. And then so over time now, you have reached out to models and stuff and. Yeah, yeah, you, the, the you run meets and stuff, right? Yeah, the portrait community in Sydney is pretty good. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you, yeah, you run meets and stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. We'll plug your meet, go. Yeah. 
um, we don't have a name for it. I just we just call it Sydney Portsmouth. Okay, who's yeah. in this crew? It's so Catfish Beard, yeah, yeah. Even Kent, like yep. Kent, yeah. Sharp Corners and oh, yeah. Bell Bell Kringers. Sharp Corners is Seb. Yeah, Seb. Yeah, your neighbour. He lives. <laughs> he used to live across the street from me, literally. Yeah. yeah. Right, and Bell. Bell Kringers. Yeah. Right. How many? How many have you done to date? You've done quite a few. So I three think or four? three big ones and. One small one and a couple of workshops. That's cool. Yeah. How, how many? Yeah. Like how, how many, many people rock up? Yeah. What? To which ones? What, you say Whatever, big like, ones. Like so how? our big ones, I think it's like hundred plus. Right. That's really cool. Yeah. And you have how many models normally? You have you like you bring models so people have stuff to do, right? Yeah. Like, so Belle usually she's she, amazing. She she reaches out to like a bunch and she brings like about ten. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah. But the models always rock up anyway. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah just right. Be shot anyway. Yeah. Right. And even if they're not models and you want to shoot them, yeah, yeah, they're, you they're just okay. ask politely if you yeah. can shoot them. Right, okay. How do these meets go? Because, like, I've been to meets where there's models and stuff, and, like, everyone usually, like, yeah, surrounds them. Yeah, it's like 20, 30 <laughs> photographers on one model, right? Yeah, and yeah, who, yeah. who takes control of, like, the situation? Because I know everyone else is shooting, mm. but there's usually one person that's, like, setting yeah. stuff up and, like, telling them to do Is stuff it you guys that set it up, or? No, we just let everyone do their own thing. <laughs> right, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. I guess the more kind of extrovert dominant people would set it up I guess I don't know like yeah I've stolen a few shots just like, like, <laughs> like alright yeah. take a yeah, few yeah. shots but because they're usually pretty epic scenes like you you choose good locations as well mm-hmm. right you, you recently did one in the Auburn the cherry Auburn. blossoms yeah, yeah 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 how'd that go was it was it blooming or because I, I know you kind of postponed it because it wasn't up yet or yeah yeah, it was blooming it was just like a nice chill day it was mainly a picnic just to chill out right just know the community get to learn it who's in it yeah and just be one of those we should go we should go to one of these we haven't gone yet I feel really bad no I I can't I find it hard to shoot portraits even if we don't shoot just to just like chill out I think I've been to wait no that was a street meet, but you were there as well. Yeah, Declan's meet. Yeah, oh, I wasn't. I wasn't Declan's meet. Yeah, see, so you're the bro. I run the meets. I used yeah, to yeah, run yeah, all yeah, the meets. Yeah. Yeah, what yeah. happened? Um, I don't know. Life I think gets busy and stuff. yeah, life gets busy, and then I don't know. I was saying in a previous episode that like at one stage it grew to like three hundred plus people, and it got like massive, like and and it's sort of very hard to control, and then some of the kids just started like doing kind of dumb stuff, like jumping yeah. over fences and like. And we felt really responsible for it. Mm-hmm. And like, they were jumping on trams. Like, it was like, I don't know, it just felt really bad. And then cops yeah, yeah. came. It's like, I don't know what to do with that. And we don't have a permit, we don't have anything. We don't mm-hmm. want to get fined. Yeah. And if they point, like, who's the organizer? And they like, point to, like, Gareth and I. Yeah. They always come to me for some reason. It's like, hey, we're going next. I was like, man. Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, I'm not, not only is it, it's hard to organize. Like, I mean, we also want to host, like, good, like, like, we want to get sponsors. We want to get, like, yeah, a yeah. big sort of vibe, a good vibe going. Um, so I don't know hopefully we'll, we can do one soon like mm. that's the plan we're, we're talking about it Gareth and I yeah yeah so do you have one coming up for you yeah we will we'll be having a big one coming up okay yeah so you constantly like like in a year or so you probably do like five or six something or more I'm not sure but we're gonna have one by the end of the year at least okay okay well, I think mm. we're aiming for October not sure okay cool because yeah we we personally noticed like we're like hey no one else is doing meets and then we see you guys and yeah that's good because like i think there's a need for, a there's need, a need for, for community and yeah and but yeah. no one's gotten up to organize it or whatever so and then you were saying you were saying you also do workshops so what sort of workshops are they so i did have a cinemagraph workshop right so people uh, paid to come to this and no stuff? no it was just oh free yeah, yeah. okay no, no. Cool. So just to well, sort of test the waters to I see i don't know about this it and works. no invite bro yeah so like you you have like was it capped to a certain amount of people or like yeah so we kept it to like 15 okay but it, it did not go well at all because some graphs take like heavy computing uh, power oh, everyone so had everyone's, a everyone's so everyone was lagging like, yeah. Right. yeah you just so make them watch you don't don't tell them to do it i think so yeah, were you in a in a room like was it yeah, we were in the studio, so we had a studio booked out, like a photography studio. Wow, okay. Was this with a, like, did someone else help you sponsor it, or like, was this... Yeah, Creative Cave, where I had oh, nice. to host it, yeah. Right, right, okay. Mm-hmm. So, uh, did the others do it too, or was it just you with it was the... me and Bill. You and Bill, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be a good idea of having their old computers try and <laughs> render something. <laughs> Yeah, but it's like any laptop it was struggling with. It was your own would have been struggling too yeah, a little it was bit, struggling right? Yeah, struggling as well. Yeah, because yeah. you usually use a PC at home. Mm. Do you that, and then you're projecting it onto like a screen as well. Yeah. Did do you what like how how powerful is your computer at home? A couple of years old now, but it was pretty. It's still pretty good. Right. 
Desktops are alright because yeah. like they don't have the power constraint, so you can plug it into a wall and like it doesn't matter how hot it gets or whatever. True. Oh yeah, we actually met at a workshop that I ran. Yeah. 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 So I think at the time, I think you were on three hundred followers. I if I yeah, remember it correctly. Was low, yeah. What so, what workshop was it? Uh, it was a workshop we did with Microsoft. And what did you um, teach? And I did you learn anything? Yeah, did you learn anything? Because like, I didn't know who you were at the time. No, I was there mainly just to see the community. Because uh, I, like, I there wasn't really a community, right? It's just like it a, was a, there is. It was only a twenty. Kent was there that day. Like anyone who goes would, would generally be part of the community. I, I think reckon. so. Yeah. yeah. So there was about twenty people that came. Yeah. Did you have a good time? I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah it, was, it was good. Yeah. Tell me the yeah. truth. It was shit. <laughs> no, no, it was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Cause nice. yeah, I was like James guy. I was in like I didn't know who you were. Yeah, like, yeah. I didn't know. That, you taught Photoshop that one, right? Of that was a Photoshop. World. Uh, it was yeah. I can show the photo. It's like sideways world, and you put Gareth on top. Even when I was learning like early junior year, I put one of your presets. I don't know yeah. if you remember that. Thanks, man. <laughs> you look at hashtag itch brand presets. Yeah, yeah, it's all yeah, my yeah, photos. Yeah, yeah. Oh really? That's yeah. the one. Wow. I don't think I re- like. I don't think I remember that. Was, <laughs> it was you and uh, Bo shout out. Uh, essay yeah, from, from above. From above. Right, that was right. at the start, but. <laughs> I put a lot of tools in there. Like, <laughs> was, yeah. yeah. Presets are... I was such a noob. <laughs> no, you, we you all know, start somewhere, right? Like, mm. You know how to color grade. Like, so you, what do you use to color grade? I've seen you kind of use yeah, a few room. different... Just Lightroom. Mainly Lightroom. You've figured it out like, since the presets, right? Like how to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people buy presets and I think it's a good jumping point for them to kind of back engineer mm. and mm. dig into how what does what. Yeah. Mm. Trying to get that moody look. Yeah. You had that moody look back then. Yeah, I don't Not anymore, do. right now. <laughs> I, I, I don't really edit like that anymore. So mm-hmm. I need to come up with new presets. But I had a question, right? Your How long does it take you to edit a cinemagraph on average? So they, they can all be different. Like easy ones, like 30 minutes. And it can go up to like half a day, like four hours plus. Right. Depending on the complexity. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Then how do you, when you go into shoot, how do you, do you have that idea in mind? I think someone's asked you this before, but like, some of your shoots are pretty conceptual and like I wouldn't be able to just rock up and like let's do this mm. like do you you have the one of like uh, the puppet yeah yeah did you have that idea in your head before you kind of got there and like how does it normally play out how did you shoot that one so the puppet one it's just like a girl going so she's just standing on the ground yeah and she was but, like, doing like her moves are quite like studdery yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Was, was I it, had the puppet idea in mind. So wait, was she act, acting stuttery or was it like... Uh, acting stuttery, yeah. Right. And she moves and then slowly, that's all act, her actually doing it? Or did you manipulate it? No, that's her actually doing it. Right. And then you just put the, you put the strings in and you put the puppet tea yeah, thing yeah, on yeah. top. Yeah. Right. And then the, the X is on her back as well? The X is on her back. Is that not it? <laughs> Am I looking at a different one? Am I thinking of a different one? Oh, it's it's a, the yeah. same, same time I shot it, if that's a different one. Oh, so yeah. you shot both at the same time? Because mm. there was one with like the stitches on the, on the back, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, right. Yeah, we kind of done some at the sand dunes the other day and we didn't have a tripod because we walked up on the thing. Yeah. yeah. So then I just, I helped him film it and I put, he stood there as a tripod and I right. put on his shoulder. Right. Yeah. So hopefully like those turn out okay, but... Did anyone take BTS of that? You can put it here. Uh, I didn't. Kent was taking photos of us, I think. Kent. Well, we could ask Kent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I should hire a BTS photographer myself. So you, like... you recorded a, a, a cinemagraph at St. James? Yeah. Well, it hasn't played out. He hasn't had a yeah, go at it yet. I know, yeah. but I like... I've got to give it to him. What was the idea? I just want to know. I, did, I wasn't there, so... It's just, it's just, just a simple <laughs> portrait with, okay. with wind blowing, nothing. Right, right. So, right. so that one would be like a half an hour one, because it's just a simple... That's, right, okay. Because yeah. I remember you were, sc- you were yelling. You were like, yeah, we're done. No, that's Kent. That was oh, Kent. That was Kent. That was, yeah. What was that? So sort of like Ben's train station one. Yeah. I wanted someone walking, like a pilgrim walking across the sand dunes. Right. Yeah. And he just keeps walking... Well, on uh, multiple layers. Yeah, right. Multiple I think layers. by the time this gets edited, it'll probably be out. Yeah, so yeah. You can, yeah. we can put it in, hopefully. Yeah. Now it's pressure really? on night. It's still like, it's still like <laughs> he scrapped it cause two it was months like... or something till this episode will come out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. I saw that. But like, I was like, you were yelling all the way from across the dunes and I was on the other side where Kent was. I was like, what do I do? Because he was, uh, I was in the way. Oh, uh, right. So I think you'll see, I, I think I kneeled down and I like, kind of scrunched <laughs> up the wall at yeah. one stage, but. Right. I, I want to know, like, <coughs> uh, obviously you were saying before that, you know, your future plans, you, you're thinking about AI, you're thinking about exhibition, mm. that kind of stuff. But like, any other, any other future plans? Like what are you? What's your? Let's say what do you? Where do you want to be in a year? A year? Yeah, I don't know. A year or two. I can't even answer this. I can't answer it yeah. myself. But like, I guess, I don't know. Looking around, like, I mean, do you envision? 
you currently working with Adobe? Like, do you envision yourself working with more brands or like? Or who do you want to work yeah. with? Not, not like. Like, I just want to still build my sort of brand and sort of work with companies who'd want to hire for that aesthetic, which yep. is like moody, nostalgic, right? That melancholic feel, right? Yeah, your stuff's very moody. Yeah. Um, you mentioned wanting to do fashion stuff. I think your your stuff's perfect for fashion. Yeah, that's where I feel it slots in the most. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like fashion and maybe gaming. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think it would work very in well Uniqlo, with like, like brands. Uniqlo, there's like LCD screens like throughout the store, right? Yeah. And I've seen cinemagraphs and stuff there. So like, yeah, you can license it to them. Yeah. That'd yeah. be kind of... That'd be cool. But I don't know the process, so... <laughs> I think like try to just keep networking and if, if you can meet someone along the way or like if you get a lucky break and they email you, like there's also different ways, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like if you want to do something, you just do it. Like, so yeah, you yeah. need to start shooting whatever yeah. you envision in your mind. Exactly. So if and you, then you put it out and you tag them and eventually, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You if you just buy, let's say for example, Uniqlo is the brand you want to do or whatever, mm-hmm. just like buy a couple of shirts or something and then you could like show them what you can do yeah, in yeah. a way. Okay. Yeah. And as a way, like you practice and like you kind of refine what you want to end up doing because at the start it won't probably so you'll see him in Uniqlo tomorrow just like <laughs> grabbing all the stuff <laughs> Uniqlo is cheaper so it's alright man where do you come up with your ideas and like I think I think that's kind of very interesting because very conceptual and, and the ideas yeah. are very out there so wait, wait where do you get your inspiration yeah, from yeah inspiration that's, and ideas there's not many people who do what you do mm-hmm. I guess mm-hmm. and like I guess you'd have to pull from all different types of like, I think inspiration's everywhere like I'm I think there's a Confucius quote Beauty is everywhere, but not everyone sees it. Yeah. So I'll just see it everywhere. I try to grab it from anywhere, anything. Right. Yeah. So I remember when he captioned saying something similar to this. <laughs> like, yeah. But if you're thinking about people, my like urge inspiration would be like Salvador Dali, like painters. Mm. Oh yeah, so that's yeah. outside of like Instagram and. That's good. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. your is stuff's very different. Anyone on Instagram? Yeah. Who are your, like, who are your um, favorites? So there's yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's the motion which is a photographer the motion okay how do you uh, Oji Kawasaki he's like an illustrator right yeah okay so they they kind of inspired you previously or they inspiring you now I said now now I'm okay more now yeah right oh yeah I, I wanted to also ask um like what do you think of like social media and obviously like you you've grown in the last year mm-hmm. quite rapidly and so like how how do you like like what? What are your thoughts on social media in general and like, yeah, Instagram yeah. or all that kind of stuff? I hear like both ends, but I try to like always keep a positive outlook on things. So for me, yeah. social media keeps you consistent, keeps mm-hmm. you working. Yeah, and that to me is like the biggest benefit is that that you're mm. constantly improving, putting out content, yeah, and trying to better yourself. Yeah, that's like the positive side to me. Yep. And, yeah, uh, and everything else you've probably already heard it. Never. What's the uh, what's the negative side to you? Well, we, we know everyone, say it. No, yeah. everyone thinks it's like it's cancer. Everyone no, like, to, you to you though, to you, what do you think? Like, do you do you see it that way? Do you see it like cancer or brings negativity in your I, life? I can or? see in the community. Yeah. So to me, I try still try to keep it positive, and it's a way for me to just keep working. But yeah, it's just how people end up using it. It's like. If I give you a screwdriver, like it's great because you can, it's a tool, right? right? You can unscrew things, you can build things. Yeah. But then all of a sudden you're putting your own kind of negativity, like this, this screwdriver is ruining my, ruining my life and like all that kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like pe- social media is just a tool. And if people want to look at it in a negative kind of way, like no one's forcing you to do anything really. Mm-hmm. 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 Right. How often are you posting now? Are you like keeping up to a schedule or you don't really mind or like and you try to and used to try this so when I first started I really wanted to grow so like every single day but lately like I haven't had the time yep me too right but ideally if I had the time it'd be daily but that's just but right now you'd be what like four three four times a week or something or how often are you posting less less I I aim for three four times a week yeah but lately it's been like two I think if you post videos especially for like I think there's a hot tip right Mm. When you post videos, you usually need a bit of breathing, breathing time for it. Is yeah, it like... so I think what we've found when we post videos yeah. is that like if you leave it for a day, it kind of grows, like it picks it up a little bit more. It keeps picking up views and it keeps getting spread around. Yeah. But usually the second time, like the second you post something else and it usually stops it a bit more. I think Not always. it was much it was much more uh, prevalent back then. Yeah, they've turned it down. Yeah, but yeah, no. yeah for back then it was like that. Yeah, so I would leave a video for like... A, three four days and one of my videos grew to like two hundred thousand views yeah you just leave it same with mine like you yeah. break a hundred thousand easy there was, a, there was like... a period in time where like every single video we posted had like a hundred thousand views because we yeah. left it for two days just wow. because of Some, that sometimes i left it for longer yeah but i, I posted that same it's the mona vale wave 
Mm -hmm. So I posted that ages ago and it did really well. Yeah. Because we left it. It's like 150,000 views. Yeah. And then I posted again and it also did well again because I think it's just a general... It depends, yeah. But I think now, I think it's... They're capping... I think it's, it's harder to get it's the views now. slowed it down Yeah, slowed it down, definitely. But Interesting. Yeah, 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 it's good to know. <laughs> what? Like, the that the was kind a... of saves and the shares and the sends are like way higher for videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same with mine. And it yeah. goes on the explore feed a lot more for videos yeah. on Instagram. Do you, and you you post like a photo, a video, a photo, a video. Like yeah. you do like an alternative. You guys are OCD. Right? I don't even know what I'm doing today. Like, nah, yeah. but like it's just like I find it a, just a good way to f like plan ahead a little bit. Yeah, for just, me it keeps me consistent. Video yeah. takes time and picture you can just snatch pretty it quick. Out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I mean, and also your, your style, like picture wise, you do a mixture of like portraits, street photography, you do just travel photography. Like there's a, there's a mixture of things yeah, I'm there. I'm quite surprised you do street photography. Like you're so heavy into portraits normally. And then like, yeah, yeah, you should do more street. I started off as a street photographer. Like more yeah, on your travels. Travel yeah. Mm. yeah, you should get back but, into but, it. But that doesn't grow on Instagram. It's so slow. Uh, that's how I got into portraits and that's how I got into single guys. It's full. But I think you have, street classics is growing really, really fast. Yeah. So if you start off as a portrait account, you just gain, gain that kind of following. Mm. Yeah, so if I try thing. to post a portrait, they don't do as well as like, because yeah, yeah. my audience like doesn't really care about portraits. Yeah. But. I mean, at the end of the day, you just should post what you like. Yeah, yeah. There's and some don't good opportunities about, yeah. for like street cinematographs. So I think... Oh yeah, you which you've done, right? right? You, you've animated those graffiti paintings. Oh yeah, you know, that was the, cool. The blinking, like the blinking girl. Oh, was the, it a girl? Was it yeah, a dragon? Yeah. That one? That was, was it? Which one? The, it blink, like, the blinking graffiti thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a wolf. A wolf? Yeah. Right. Yeah, that kind of stuff is really cool. Yeah. Cause, and then you've done the, the dog tail wagon yeah, one. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, really cool. Teach me, man. Let's, yeah. <laughs> we're going to travel and help me. Still watch it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're right still now. in the States. <laughs> we should, yeah, make some cool stuff. I think, yeah. I don't want to just go, because we're all traveling to yeah. the US on a, we're going for Adobe Max. Yeah. Us three, and TK, TK and a bunch of other people, right? Yeah, but we're going to go on a road trip before Max. Like a week? Yeah. 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 We're trying to figure out where to go. So I think by the time this is out, we'll probably be on the road. Yeah, I think so. So it's either I'm, Utah I'm keen to or LA. I'm keen to do some collaboration. But yeah, let's, we, let's we have do. some kind of visions before we get there and like make something cool. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just going to be us there wandering around. and like yeah, That'd be cool too, but I, I want something bigger this I, time. I, I want to... I'd be really <coughs> interested to do like a cinemagraph tutorial because I do a bit as well. Yeah. So like, like maybe on my YouTube channel, we could... Think of something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We can like okay. a cinematographer tour with Jam Tuna or something. Yeah, yeah, maybe we can do that. Yeah, yeah. Let's we can do some landscape stuff. Plus, you the kind of. There, uh, how like what, what do you mean? Like clouds land, or water? But even uh, landscape stuff, like I would want a person in a scale. Like it's sort of still a portrait in a way, right? Yeah, like, yeah it's like definitely. a scenic portrait. Um, so yeah, I would never just like. I mean, if it's like, something super epic, then yes. But if it's like a person can be involved, I always try to put a person. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> We could do something like Kent, what you do with Kent, having people walk through scenes and... Yeah, I think that'd be really sick. No one's ever really done it, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's do some cool stuff. I'm excited. Yeah, you, okay. you push yeah. your creativity, like, outside of portrait kind of cinemagraphs. Yeah. I feel like yeah. there's potential in landscape. Yeah, I think... And if you're talking about, like, general appeal, landscape's pretty up there. Like, yeah, landscapes, yeah, like landscapes and, cat, like, cat videos and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I think it's good, like, people who push the boundaries of creativity and, like stuff that's different and unique is like it, people who inspires us as well right like we've been i think I've, i followed you pretty quickly without friction because normally it's like i see one good piece from someone's like all right i'll remember your name and then like if you come up again and third yeah. fourth fifth sixth time then maybe i might follow you but like yeah, yeah. your stuff was kind of new enough and mm. I was like, maybe yeah, I can yeah. copy this guy, guy's ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep an eye on him. Oh, I'll make him hard for a reason. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can't copy him. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was saying like, we've been in this game. Well, we've been shooting and posting on Instagram for seven, eight years. Yeah. And to see someone come up and do something so fresh and unique, it like inspires us to keep going too. And it's really good, right? Like that cycle. Like, yeah, yeah. I remember when Pat was coming up and it inspired me as well. Like to, yeah, it's yeah. just like, there's all these like, cool people on the come up and it's it's good to see and mm -hmm. especially Sydney local so it's like yeah yeah really really like good to know I, that you're you, here with us do you do that do you keep uh, tabs on people to kind of like not steal ideas but like pretty much uh, steal ideas sometimes <laughs> not really like, <laughs> you know, like my when I do it it never ends up the same and yeah, like it always, yeah. Uh, yeah it always ends up being different yeah. yeah and you always try to put your own spin to things and stuff like that and mm -hmm. copying someone isn't the right way to do stuff anyways like you can copy an idea but you shouldn't really copy it fully fully yeah 
Yeah. Well, the, the way that I did that cinemagraph thing, right, with the uh, the guy walking mm, down the station. Mm. So Sark, there's a whole story about how Sark kind of shot that yeah, photo. Yeah. And then everyone, I'm gonna tell it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell yeah, story. Yeah. Like everyone was like, they shoot the same photo and they're like inspired by David Sark. And right. Inspired like all the locals. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah, but I think he saw it somewhere else. Yeah. And yeah. So then when I went back to Japan the second time, I was like, I'm gonna try and one up him by doing motion. Yep. Yeah. And I first I did the walking thing and then I learned how to watching your stuff how you turn layers on and off yeah yeah I, yeah because I, I did it again and like you were like you've already done this so I had to do something different yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. then I made the lights flash on yeah, and off so. yeah yeah we can show both we can show your previous one and your full yeah one. yeah final one alright let's go Q&A alright so yesterday we asked you guys to ask James a bunch of questions and um let's uh let's yeah. just let's just ask some, some, some of these questions hard hitting ones oh there's some pretty good ones I got one the love assembly how does the process look like for a concept of yours to come to life? Yeah, so walk, walk, walk us, us through, through. The, pro- the process of shooting, editing, and posting, I guess. Like, What's the process of this one? Did you have an idea in mind for this? I, I didn't, but when I saw like the astronaut sort of suit, <coughs> yeah. I, I, like, immediately I got to do something with astronauts in space. So, yeah. hmm. so I shot it in, in like a sort of clean space. So it's a bit of a canvas where I can add a lot of stuff. Yep. So I've shot here before and I knew that wall was a great space. It's so, like add whatever you want mm. and then yeah if you read my caption like when i was a child i, I remember first very first memory i had was being under a mobile one yep. of those toys and yep. i wanted to capture that idea yeah that's uh, how i came up with this right that's cool i didn't i don't read captions <laughs> now that you explain this so cool. when you shot her mm. so it was a quick shoot as in like did she have to sit there for a long time and hold the pose or, or it was just you just needed one photo and that's it Oh, they're generally not quick shoots. Yeah, I know, so but like, obviously, yeah. you, you kind of try to get that one frame, that one sort of Yeah, because you have to pose frame, them right, and right? you have to kind of get them to Yeah, I'll good. get her to do multiple poses in this yep. one scene, so yep. usually I'd, I'd just tell them to take every, a different pose every time I click, yep. and I'll generally pick the best one, yep. and then I'll work with that. But you're shooting photos, not <coughs> video, is what I'm asking. I do both. You do so both? I do photo and video. In case the video doesn't work, I can't grade it, I'll stick with the photo. Right. it's shown raw, and it's just better better color yeah and so what do you do with the like if the video does work yeah. what, what how do you why can't you grade it video grading is it's different different to photography. Yeah. yeah so as this is not enough room because you can just take a still like capture a still of the actual video mm. and grade it from there yeah but the grades you can't push it as hard it's not the same as a raw yeah. file right. Yeah. right okay so so what would you have used the video for like if because she's still right. Yeah. Well, well, then you can add motion. Subtle, to subtle motions. Also, oh, her, like oh, right. her okay. blinking, breathing, hair moving. Those, those are what like makes it magical. Right, and those usually movements. record video. Yeah. Right. I've seen you do blinking by manually, right? Have, You've done have that you manually made too. Blink without actually capture them, capturing them. Blink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind right. of crazy. But that's just like two frames. So one, how do you, the eyes close and one. So you need the two that's, photos. Yeah. You need you need what? the photos to begin with. You can't just draw eyelids on them. Oh, you can. You can do Photoshop. Yeah. Right. Okay. So like, yeah. So you, one option, the easy one, is to take two frames, one open, one eyes closed, right? I think better is just to record it, someone blinking. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't have that, then eyes closed, eyes open. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah if not that. You have to Photoshop the eyes closed. Yeah. Oh, because okay. it goes so quickly, no one really knows that it's. Is all Photoshop. your stuff mainly tripod work? Like you use a tripod m- most of the time. If it's a video, yeah, I'll yeah. try to use a tripod. Right. So you try to capture a clean just space. Be steady with hands, bro. <laughs> no, but you want to capture a clean, clean background, yep. a yeah. plate, and then one of the subject inside. Yep. So it's easier to composite. Right. That's why I don't do it handheld. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, when it comes to compositing, it's a lot harder. Yeah. So yeah. going back to this so yeah, walk here, us through. So you had this idea, you shot the portrait, then after that you went home and you animated, like, how did you create the planet and the rocket and. Wait, so did the idea of the planets and the rocket come while you're shooting or like when you got home is what I want to know. I was there whilst I was shooting. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. And I then, guess, yeah, she's wearing a space suit. Yeah. So that helps. Yeah, yeah. And then you get home and what, what's the process like? I would bring it into yeah. After Effects. Like I try to draw like a, a photo version of it yep. just to see if it works. Yeah. And I do a test to see if I can actually get the motion. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And if that test works, then I'll just finish it. It off. So all the planets and rocket, all that kind of stuff is stock or you you made them yourself in So planets cinema? are really easy to make. It's just like a texture map and you just put it on a sphere. On a sphere, yes. <laughs> on yes. a sphere and that, that's a planet. Right. Yeah. And so you made those planets in S- cinema. cinema. People take photos and they do like a five minute edit and that's their Instagram photo. So yeah. like, 
you're creating each kind of object. Do you yeah. animate the motion of that in cinema and then you bring it into After Effects because it's already a video? For this one, I animated it turning. Yes. But I didn't do any... So no, you animated it turning and then you also did the fishbowl. Mm. So the reflections of the things turning in the fishbowl. But that's... A, you just flip that upside Yeah, I just flipped that and put it in the fishbowl. Yeah. So that was, that's an easy... It, it kind of looks like, is it going like in a sphere in the fishbowl? But this yeah. is also... That, that, going... That's an effect in... In After oh, Effects, yeah, have to go right. rows, yeah. And then on top of that, you also have shadows. Yeah, all the yeah. shadows of the th all the stuff. That's this drop shadow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's, okay. I, like I can see how to do it. I don't know how to do it myself, but like, yeah. I think I know the, like the steps, I guess. Mm -hmm. So do you color grade before you kind of yeah, start I always all this color stuff? grade the picture first. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, so everything's in like the even animation animating the the circular motion that's in After Effects. That's it's, enough. So it's not in cinema. I wonder how this is going to turn out for our audio listeners. Because <laughs> we can show stuff and like, I guess it's, we're, we're not describing things that well. Yeah. Well, the, or, the listeners can try to find it on James's Instagram. Yeah, yeah, you should check it out. Or they can come to the YouTube video maybe if they, if they really want to learn it. Yeah, because yeah. we show a lot of content that we talk about. And mm. like sometimes it's hard to describe. And this is we're, very visual, We're just right? not very good at describing things. <laughs> Next question. Um, TK on. North asks, have you ever considered fronting a metal band? I don't know if you, this is an in-joke or something. Uh, no? Karaoke. Oh, oh what you guys went there. No, what happened? So, so oh, when, I think when they I spoke about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Linkin Park, I go all out with my <laughs> voice to the max. Yeah, right. I guess he had that metal impression. Uh, so, have you, have, you ever, <laughs> have you ever considered fronting a metal band? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, okay. I um, heard about that. They were talking about it in the car on the way. All right. Yeah, Shane was there as well. Um, VH Thomas asks If you weren't creating art, what would you do and why? I think I'd be a chef. I'd be creating food. Right. So to me, that there's like a lot of similarities and parallels to cooking and art. So you love to cook at home and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Okay. You could make a lot of cinemagraphs for food and stuff. They would love that stuff. Yeah. Oh that's yeah, a, dude, that's that'd a, be sick. Because I've seen a lot of it on stock websites. It's done so poorly. It's like bubbling. Well, that's well done. I think that's well done. Some of it, no, it's bubbling, and then you see in the corner there's like a shadow that was like. Uh -huh. I think they're pretty bad at doing it, but. Food, there's a market for it. Good to me. You should yeah. come, oh, dude, you could work with all these like f restaurants and stuff. Like, yeah. that's no, really no, like that's slow money. No, you like when go, you think like, about the like the, the like... foodies, like I don't know, Nat and Yan, all kind of stuff. Like you could bring your own spin to it, which would be really cool, mm -hmm. I think. But like on a large scale, you'd want to not do restaurants, mm -hmm. do like massive kind of. Yeah. yeah. There's a market for it. So um, there was another one. Um, I'm gonna go. Yep. Currently, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Yep. All right. So she goes. How do you break out of shooting the same photography trends you see on Instagram? I keep choosing the same default pose and composition. Lol. Traffic, uh, sorry, travel photography specific. I think that's more a question for you guys. No, that's, I think your compositions are quite unique. I shoot a lot of the same stuff. And so that's why I wanted to ask this question. Like you always do the little person, but like your compositions are usually pretty unique, I think. Because I just usually just get a person standing or walking. Like I, that's just the standard. There's new angles and that kind of stuff, but yeah. it is yeah. more or less of the same. So like... Your travel? work, or... no, like co compositionally. So your work is quite different. So I think mine's basic. <laughs> oh, like I mean, I would never. I haven't ever done any tight portraits like that. So we're gonna have to. Yeah, yeah. And then like, this isn't regular composition. I feel all my portraits are just someone standing in the middle. Like using a mirror, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm like say that. That's my. I think that was directed by a friend. Right. Right. He's that's a fair. portrait. He specializes in portraits. Right. It's and I just definitely very different. Yeah. Oh, I like this one though. <laughs> and yeah, your composition is kind of different. So, how, like, how do you? I, I don't think um, I think they're different. They're pretty basic. So just someone standing in the middle. Yeah. And then you have a frame just to tell the story. Right. It was a background. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. I don't go crazy with my. Another <laughs> another question from TK North. Going back to food, what's your favorite food? Fried chicken. Fried chicken, your favorite food. Dude, yeah. if we go like Middle America on our road trip, there's so much fried chip, <laughs> and like I think you, you really enjoy it. Malaysian there. fried chicken is, yeah, good. or Indonesian spiciness. <coughs> I think Malaysian, Malaysian. Malaysian. Rachel Muller asked, "Do you ever get slash feel burnt out? What are some things you do to get past it?" I I think I oh, burnt out. Yeah. Or like create a block or burnt out. I don't out get creative or... block, but I do get burnt out. But right. that's just because I'm doing so much work. In yeah. terms of creative block, I don't feel like I get Yeah, you block. Ha uh, that's what you were talking about. You, yeah. you said you never have creative block. Because there's so much inspiration and creativity everywhere. You just got to look for it. Yeah. And, yeah, I agree. I, I mean, guess it, it is the same like fatigue for me than if you put it that way. Yeah. yeah. I think I think if you just kind of take a, a short break, like the inspiration comes back after a bit. Like you're like, yeah. 
sometimes you run out of ideas but then you just take like you know two three days break and all of mm. a sudden it's like oh i have another idea like it's like it always comes like, yeah yeah, yeah. iron fangen ask where do you find models to shoot or do you go to an agency so yeah i get mine from the community the sydney oh yeah community. so bell's friends and all that kind of yeah, stuff yeah, and yeah. like okay so they right okay yeah. have they has anyone ever reached out to you yeah has anyone ever i reached feel out like to you? The... yeah i had heaps did you ever <laughs> accept any of them you can't accept them all. Yeah, you can't. Accept yeah, no, but like, yeah. I'd, I'd have to check like the page out. And you're usually younger teens. Right. And I try to like avoid. Yeah. Young people. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Okay. And usually people like want just starting out. I'm, gonna, I'm reaching out to you next. So. <laughs> <laughs> same question from the oh same person. If you randomly go to a person and take a picture, do you talk to them or do you just leave? I guess this talks about straight photography, right? Yeah, it depends. If it's if there's eye contact, then I'll talk to them. But right. usually with straight photography, you don't have eye contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you try not to. Oh, yeah. like depending on what you're doing. What do you say when you angry. talk to them? You know, uh, I smile. I just like, I smile. Then I'll put my camera up, and that's what that signifies. Like, can I take a photo? Right. They smile back and like I take that as a yes. Yeah. They They're chase like, you. No, yeah, they, they chase you. Yeah. You run. <laughs> Essentially. I'll block your face. Yeah. A local fish asks Trevor, "How are you going?" Um. What does your feed say about you? You're yes. a moody guy. Huh? Yeah, what does it say about you? Uh, I don't know. I'm a moody guy. I think so. Are you a moody guy? All, all your stuff's kind of moody. Like pretty so it's sort of... Dark, almost? Not dark, but like mysterious. Like, like finding beauty in the everyday sort of thing. Does you get that feel from it? Yeah. Yeah. The Confucius quote, beauty is everywhere, but not everyone sees it. And that's what I try to capture right. in my feed. Right. Okay. Wait, so, so if I travel, I don't shoot like iconic places. I'll shoot... Like the people or, yeah. or bits of lights. Right. Okay. Yeah. You're into the subtleties, which I like. Yeah, yeah. Um, another one from Trev. How do you plan what to post next? Do you plan? Or no, I don't. Just whatever, I- really. Image, simograph, image, simograph. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. And do you have like, like a head? Like have you, have you got like your next three posts ready? Or no, do you, no, you just, just on the day or yeah, the yeah, day before the day. kind of thing? So when it's seven o'clock, it's like, oh shit, I gotta post soon. Right. <laughs> me too. Okay. Like like me. Rush to the How, how's like your stuff's pretty consistent, your feed. Mm. But like, do you think it's consistent? Not at all. That's the thing. People say it's yeah, consistent. Yeah. I don't well, see some it. people put effort in. Like, I yeah. want it all blue this week or whatever it is. And like, yeah. Yeah. What gear? What gear do you use, and what what stuff do you shoot with? Yeah, I use a Sony A seven R three. Yep. Ninety percent of the time, it's a thirty five millimeter one point four. The ninety five percent is that prime lens. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's a great kind of portrait lens that you get enough, you, enough of the surroundings with the subject. Yeah, yeah, best storytelling lens. Right. 4% of the time is the 16 to 35. Right. I might use an 85, rarely. Rarely. Okay. You can get compression. I think that'd be kind of cool, but you need to be pretty far back. Yeah, it? yeah. So you carry three lenses with you everywhere you go? Usually, yeah, yeah. 35, 16, 35, and 85. Yeah. Okay. When you film video for your cinema grass, what, you, what are you filming? 35. Oh, uh, the FPS and Yeah, yeah. Just curious myself. Uh, so I do two takes. So one take in 4K, just normal 25 FPS. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the other one would be 1920 at 100 FPS. Oh, 1080. Yeah, slow-mo kind of 1080. Slow-mo. Yeah. Should right. uh, get the 6K. Especially you mess around with it so much. Yeah. And yeah, you yeah. have like black magic raw. Mm. So then you can kind of the color. I haven't. You can figure out the color. Yeah, that's stuff. why I, I had to test it first. But 6K, you could do a lot more. Mm. I feel like for yeah. what you do. Do you shoot like a flat? Color profile on video or just yeah the S log S log okay yeah. okay you carry one camera one what kind of setup like do you bring anything else with like lighting and have you ever played with that kind of stuff yeah I, I bring lighting if I know it's needed but it's like rarely ever needed do you understand how to use lights because we have no idea how to use lights and that kind of stuff for what sort of I don't know like portraiture and like lighting up like reflectors well, pe- and people use boxes, people use like colored that. lights right yeah. for like gels yeah yeah so then they use that and i reckon like if you use that kind of stuff and then you know how they take it away in photos and you have that glow and then mm. they photoshop like jellyfish in and yeah, like, yeah 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 because yeah. you have that glowing jellyfish and you have the actual oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. blue light on oh that thing. was using an actual blue light what wait <laughs> oh i thought he's already <laughs> i'm just saying, I'm just saying Into, that, okay, yeah, right. people use it yeah. right yeah yeah okay gotcha yeah okay try like um yeah, Loom Cube has some kind of cool lights and stuff. Okay. We're going to play with them in, in the US. We have some. Are you going to bring your lightsaber things? I can, if you want me to. Yeah, we got, I can bring whatever. Yeah. I think it's quite big, but anyway. Yeah. All right, last last question, I guess. Uh, MN Shots asks, what is the best way to eat jam and tuna? 
and we'll be even better if he shows us. So what's the what's the best way? It's all a lie. Yeah, it's all jam tuna. Ch- <laughs> just chuck it on a sandwich. Chuck it on a like eighty percent tuna, twenty percent jam. Funny you say that, James. We're gonna make you. We're all so gonna eat. We it. actually made James a jam tuna sandwich, and we're gonna all that try was. it today. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? All right. We, here you go, James. Uh, you guys. <laughs> yeah, this is for you. It's. Uh, uh, it's for you. Cut you off. All right, guys. Let's try this out. This is. It's us your fault, James. Eating jam tuna <laughs> sandwiches for the first time. Right, Even cheers, he's eating cheers, for the first cheers, time. Right. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 Bit strange. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's not terrible. I don't know what you're saying. Interesting. What, Thanks for tuning in. How do you rate this, James? I want to know what you thought of this. Mm. Yeah, eight over ten. It was. T- it was. Sandwich press, 10 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Fuck <laughs> <Right. laughs> <laughs> off. With a sandwich press, it'd be like a solid 4. It's not bad though. I don't even like... sucks, you know. <laughs> Jam tuna sucks, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's fine. It's edible, for sure. I'll, wow. give it, I'll give it like a 4 out of 10. Yeah, about that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. For everyone watching on YouTube, uh, if you could like, subscribe and... Comment? Yeah. Yep. Um, if you have any questions for us or James, just leave it in the comments below. Mm-hmm. And thanks for everyone for tuning in for the audio podcast. And if you could leave us a review and a rating, that'd be awesome. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone watching. Thank you, James, for coming along. Thank you, where, can, where can we find you? Um, plug yourself, yeah, plug James. Yourself. Uh, just on Instagram right now. At, at Jam, 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 Jam Tuna. Tuna. Yeah. Awesome. Do you have a website? I do. Yeah. JamTuna.com? <laughs> dot NET. JamTuna.net. Dot yeah. Awesome. That's a peculiar change like a uh, choice of dot com's taken <laughs> oh, <laughs> it. yeah well, that's oh, what really? i wanted to ask you because like jam tuna would be hard to get why it should be easy <laughs> uh, will you tell me like it's taken i like, think because there's a celebrity called jam jam jamuna jam tuna in india oh, oh. and they like just took all the 